Hey there, this is a quick tutorial about how to connect your Klarna um, and your pay now, buy now, pay later options inside of Stripe. So I've already logged into my Stripe account and this is where you see the dashboard and you want to immediately look for up here for your settings little icon up here top right. I'm going to go to settings, click that, go to settings. And then we're going to search the dashboard for payments, which is right here. I'm going to click the payment option. All right. And you want to go to payment methods here. All right. When you scroll down, you start to see the options. Now, here's what I'm going to recommend that you turn on. Turn on the link. Right. And you can write any kind of rules, supported integ integrations. This is where you can change some options here. So you want to do the link because that will give them like a universal logon. And you can see that one is active. Okay. And then you want to scroll all the way down to the buy now, pay later options. You've got Affirm, Afterpay, and Klarna. And Affirm really only does a lot of physical products. Um, so you might not be able to, or as it may be after pay is the one that does the physical products. But if you're a digital product owner, you'll only be able to do Klarna and then one of the other ones. So don't spam out, spaz out if you get denied. It's okay. But let me just show you what Klarna looks like. So if it's turned off and you'll see that when it's turned off, it looks like this. You simply click turn on. And it's super simple. It just takes a few seconds. Um, and then that's it. If you do a click on the three dots, you can change certain things like transaction amounts, right? So my transaction limit is a minimum of $25, a maximum of a million dollars. Uh, you can change the currency um, and the location. I left everything alone except the minimum amount for them to, to make payments. It needs to be at least $25. Uh, before they can make payments. So you close that and once you've done that, you're really connected. Okay, I'm giving you a little bit of extra information about modifications, but it's simply, it's as simple as clicking the turn off or turn on button for any of these extra payments. Okay, uh, good luck and hope it turns out for you. Thanks.